back online. Oh no, all my windows. Excellent. Well, I'm going to get back to work on this stuff. All right, so I was just working on the zooming. I think I got that to where I wanted it. What's next? Let me see. <laughs> what's next? Vizio has stopped working. That's what's next. All right. So we need to make sure that the pre-state screen should reset the player positions. Uh, I believe we have that now. Um, we want the pre-stage screen to reset and kill bots. So I think we'll just have the pre-stage screen let's have them kill bots. All bots die. End of bots. Bots destroyed. That's what needs to happen. What are some other things? Uh, some of the other things that I need, I have at a category search field for mission unlocks. So where is this uh, unlocked by mission name? And why don't we also have uh, mission category? And that should be a category which is a string on this side, but where is this unlock? All right, so I'll add that as well.
Well, I think instead of doing that other thing I just said I was going to do, I'm going to do something entirely different. I'm going to add the category search field right now. All right, so let's go ahead and start looking at it. So this is part of the unlocked by Bill from Mission Unlock. All right, so new unlock dot mission category equals unlock get mission category. What we need. UBS mission category statics get string for enum. All right, so we got that, and we also need to go to our commands here. And we need to add to that our validation for this guy. We also need to add to the missions. All right, so let's see. Um, mission name was blank, and no, no unlock category specified for tiers. Check this. So we need the mission name. All right, this one is going to be couldn't find mission blah to unlock. No, it's going to be unlock mission and unlock 
category set. So for unlock, only use one. All right, so that'll do that. Um, what happened to my music? Oh no. My internet, why? All right, so we've got this set. Um, so the next question is the unlocked. All right, so if um, get mission stats. All right, so I need to change the dashboard profile manager. Let's take a look. We've got Let's see what get mission stats. So we'll pass an EBS mission category, and then we will have our, I guess, a T array of completions. Um, Let's take a look what we have. All right, so we need an array of mission data. So this will be get mission stats by category. We're going to pass in the mission category and the completed missions. And then basically we go through all of them.
Well, we need every mission that's even in the category, right? So... Let's see, tier is just going to be data dot what best tier. All right. So we need get mission stats by category to be a thing. All right, so I think it's the mission manager. So the next thing that we're going to need is this stuff. All right, so we'll grab those. Do we not have a...
Is it mission category or just category? Mission has category. All right, so I'll add those guys. So we can just return that pointer in our profile manager. Get mission stats by category is basically we're gonna need our mission man. All right, so let's get all of our missions from here. So Let's take that off so we, we're just returning arrays of pointers instead of arrays of structures of things. Excellent. So I think that actually finishes that locked status stuff so we can have a mission that is locked by an entire category of other missions. Probably need a locked description for a mission, don't we? We've got description and unlocked by...
Nested containers are not supported. Are you for real? Fine. Well, it won't get garbage collected. Because we have a U property thing added, but ugh. We'll see. Yeah, and it's kind of doing a little bit of tricksy magic bullshit with the mission data there. That usually you wouldn't do. You'd be like, oh yeah, we got to get mission stats by category. It returns a pointer to, you know, it fills out an array of pointers and uh, fills them out with null if they don't exist. It's just like, uh, isn't that a little unsafe? To return somebody might use that and not realize that they just got a whole mess of awful Whatever. I'm sure I will never screw this up immediately.
I really need a need an overlay that just says no refunds. <laughs> like a with a dopey looking Bernie Sanders photo as well. That'll be the best. I quit. We're we're not making this game anymore. No refunds. I think that was my the no refunds bit's the best. Ah, oh, it's mission category statics. There it is. I was like, but that exists. It exists. It does. I know it. No, it doesn't. It's statics, you moron. All right, so mission unlocks. We should be able to unlock a mission by completing everything in another category. I like the idea of having basically all the missions, and you, know, you have to complete the training missions in order to unlock all the rest of the mission categories and stuff like that. All right, so let's make a new mission, which is going to be the, not the training, but impossible. So let's go ahead and, I mean, let's go, let's go, let's go. And uh, make the impossible mission. So new dashkin, mission data, MS, impossible, zero one. So let's go ahead and paste this in here. So this is going to be impossible zero one. Oh, 
Always unlocked. False. Uh, unlocked by uh, everything in training. All right, let's go take a look at this. I didn't set the impossible mission category, did I? What do you want me to check out? The UI level? No. Impossible. It is locked. Why is it locked? Everything in training. Yeah, okay, so it's everything in ball control is what we actually want. Where in the hell did we put the locked stuff? I mean, it's got mission category, ball control, tier, none. Mission name, it's blank. So the issue is, okay, yeah, it should be. If uh, unlock uh, mission name, len is greater than zero. Else.
The impossible mission is unlocked. Awesome. Let's clear our profile information. Clear profile data. The impossible mission is unlocked? Why? Because of bugs. Because of bugs, that's why. see it work. I mean, supposedly this contains ball control. What? How is this possible? How is this? This doesn't seem... Like, it definitely contains the category. What category are we looking for?
What? 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 What the fuck? What is? What is going on here? This. If it contains, yeah, okay. It's like something. Some stupid. It's like no, it's got the right. Ah, uh, yeah. That's how it goes. Oh man, they got laughing at the post on Reddit about the the drowned kittens in cartoons. <laughs> that was great. All right, so our unlocks should be working. Alright, so we have not unlocked it, so it's locked. So, let's uh, go ahead and beat the mission here. All right, excellent. So we have our unlocks. For everything, hooray, unlocks. So unlock by categories. Next thing, um, pre-stage screen should kill the bots. Okay, let's go do that.
All right, let's see. Where do we have all the kills? I think it's in player controller. Let's go to player controller. Where we have the votes. Is it in the level? Yeah, it's in the level, isn't it? Alright, where is the level utils? Let's see. Right, this just destroys a random bot. Uh, hello, Patricio. Uh, what's going on here? I am working on this game, Dashkin, in Unreal 4 at the moment, and I'm just making it so at the beginning of a level mission, it'll kill all the bots that are in the game. So let's do this. So destroy all the bots. All right, good. Let's build that. Yeah, do you know anything about the project I'm working on? Uh, a lot of people come in here from Adam's channel. It's and I don't recognize your name. But basically, C++ client uh, Unreal 4. And uh, it's a multiplayer game right now, uh, and we're adding the single player, which is what I'm working on. And our next update, which is next weekend, is missions. Just uh, short, simple missions with different game modes that we can play on different maps. And I'm just setting up the framework for it and the UI and stuff like that for it. So pretty much everything is made for multiplayer online. Uh, so getting the missions work in there, there's just, you know, plumbing that has to be done because everything is kind of expecting a central server to deal with it. 
And for in instead of a lot of bot stuff, I mean, instead of a lot of players doing everything and bots continuing across matches, it's more everything needs to be much more locked down and like, no, the stage just started, kill the bots, we'll spawn the bots when the stage starts, things like that. Rules. Rules.